Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be going over how to make basic commands in your Discord bot. This is going to be a very, very basic command handler. It's actually going to be manual, so you're going to, what that means is you're going to have to put each one individually. I will be going over in the future how to do it automatically, so you just make more commands and it automatically goes to that file pretty much. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a new slash command. All right, so I'm going to be using discord.js version 14. As you probably already saw here, discord.js version 14.7.1. And we essentially need to um, register a command with the Discord API, the API being the application program interface. Um, so there's other things that we have to require from discord.js. Next thing we're going to require is slash command builder. All right, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the ready right here so that as soon as the bot logs in and it's made a successful connection to Discord through the API application programming interface, which is basically its way of interacting with Discord, similar to how you open up your Discord and you do certain things on here and you go to a different guild, you send a message, that's all done by the application programming interface and it's our way of telling our bot what to do. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say new slash command builder. And then we're not going to put a semicolon at the end here because we're going to add, we're going to do change some attributes and you can see a nice list here. I'm going to set the name of it. I'm going to set it to ping. This is like the most basic slash command that everybody does. So we're going to start with it anyway, and we're going to set a description and we're going to say replies with Pong. All right. And there's a bunch of other parts and components that you can use in here. You can add options and such, which we'll all go over in due time is we're going to have another client event client dot on instead of once once I believe means that it happens once. So once the bot starts up, right? But this is going to be every time that an interaction is sent. So events dot interaction create is what it's called right there. And then we're going to call it interaction as our variable here that represents the interaction. And we're going to open it up with curly braces, curly brackets. If the interaction is not a chat input command, the reason why we have the exclamation point here it is it's saying is not it is false or it is null in this case we're going to return returning just stops what we're doing and exits out of this um, function which is client.on event interaction create it exits out of that it stops dead in its tracks and we can console.log the interaction for example We'll start with that. No dot, we're starting up the bot. Perfect. Now if we go in here, do slash, oh no, nothing's here. That's because we haven't registered yet. We've got the new slash command. We need to save this as something. So let's save this as const ping. Const meaning constant. And we're gonna say that ping is this new command. And one thing we can do right here is we can say, this is one way of doing this is client dot commands dot create. And we're just gonna put in ping. And in here we can set the guild ID. So we're gonna copy the ID of the guild 
and we're gonna say only make it in this guild okay hold on Anyway, sorry, forgot client.application. There we go. There's ping. We do ping. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? It's because we console log the interaction. Would you look at that? We got the nice lot big interaction. I'll be going over how to read the and understand the documentation soon. So you guys can understand better how to do certain things without needing to rely on my videos all the time just to make life easier anyway now it's only registered in this server and I believe the problem might be if we run it again no okay I was afraid that it might make multiple but I guess it just replaces itself every time so that's fine Later on, we'll make a system that automatically deletes all the old ones and then creates all the new ones again. Anyway, now we have one basic command. We send the command out, we get the interaction. What we can say in here is if interaction dot name, dot command name, sorry. Three equal signs means equals exactly. And then we're going to say ping. So as you can see up here, we set the name to ping. So now we'll say ping again. And if the command is ping, we're going to interaction dot reply pong. Whoops, make sure you put that in bracket in um, quotation marks. easy as that it responds with pong every time super simple it still console logs the interaction we don't need that right now so we'll get rid of that and I believe we can even just do ping and skip over the other part anyway <clears throat> I guess I can show you that over here if you do ping, you can see the description down there. You can see the description here. I don't know if it's too hard to see on my massive screen, being so small on your screen, but trust me, it does have the replies with Pong as the description. Now that we've made one basic command, we could just go ahead and make another one like this. We'll copy and paste this over here. Uh, I don't know what we should call this one. Um, how about we say, we'll call this ping, hello? And now we can add a, uh, we'll leave the hello to someone for the next episode where we'll add some options, but we're declaring that this is the end of the sub or the slash command builder with these semicolons here. Now what we can do is we can add another command right here underneath the ping. We'll put in hello. Same guild ID. And then we'll say, oh, okay, let's use these special quotation marks. Backticks, sorry, I can't, I can't believe I forgot. Anyway, if you put two backticks here, inside you can add, I'm not sure what these are called either, but you basically can embed different variables from your code into here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do interaction.user dot tag I guess we didn't register the command yet 
so we'll go ahead and restart the bot. Now we should have the hello command. Yes, we do. Oh, looks like I forgot to put the hello part, but you can see it's responding with my tag. Now we can just even do dot user, that'll mention them, dot user name, we'll get specifically their name, so it should respond with hello, golden underscore dev. Hello, golden underscore dev, super simple. Okay, in the next episode, I'm going to go over how to add options. So this way, we'll be able to set a specific user to um, say hello to, for example. So see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.